So today we are going to discuss regarding cecum, uh, which is the first part of large intestine where large intestine is commencing with. So this cecum is having the most mysterious spelling. So be careful with the spelling of cecum. In BD Chaurasia, it is like this and in case of internet, we can see the spelling in common. So, so this is considered to be a large blind sac, you can see, which is in the commencement of large intestine. And this is none other than the iliocecal junction. And then this one is the appendix. So then, this mainly present in the right iliacosa. Already we had discussed regarding the quadrants of abdomen, which were nine in nature. And here, this is the right iliacosa. And here comes our cecum. And whenever we are studying regarding the appendicitis, we used to have pain in the right iliac fossa, which is referred to the umbilicus. And uh, this is because of the same dermatomal origin. So, this is the right iliac fossa where cecum is located. And then, and it is exactly present above the lateral half of the inguinal canal. So, here comes the inguinal canal. So, here it is mentioned that the cecum is located in the lateral half, like above the lateral half of the inguinal canal. Okay. Now, let's see regarding the size of cecum. So, here length of the cecum is 6 cm and breadth or wide of the cecum is 7.5 cm. Here length, here wide or breadth is more than the length of the cecum and this specification is seen in few other organs in our body which we have to remember for MCQ purpose. That is none other than P3. So, let's see what are all those organs. So, one is pons. And another one is prostate and the third one is pituitary. So, these organs are very specific where breadth of the organ is always more than the length of the organ. So, this is more important in MCQ point of view. Breadth is more than the length of the organ. So, let's see how cecum and appendix had originated. So, here comes the area of mid gut. So, both the cecum and the uh, appendix are originated from the mid gut. And in mid gut, we are having the post arterial segment. So, this post arterial segment gives rise to cecal bud, which is present over here. So, this is exactly the cecal bud which we are going to talk now and here comes the small intestine where the jejunum and ileum will get arised in the embryonic stage. So, from this cecal bud, there is two portions. One is, pro so one is proximal and the second one is distal and this proximal end gets dilated. And this distal end remain narrow. So, finally, because of the dilatation, there comes our cecum. And this narrowed part of the cecal bud is called as appendix. And as it appendix is arising from the apex of cecum, we can see here, mostly the appendix arises from the apex of cecum but just because the cecum is growing wider and wider this appendix moves normally to the posteromedial aspect of the cecum. So here there are different types of cecum which is mainly based on the position of appendix and the movement of appendix from the apex to the posteromedial aspect. Based on this only there are three types of cecum which we can see in normal people. Let's discuss regarding that. So, let's discuss regarding the types of cecum. As I had told, the different types of cecum is because mainly because of the position of the appendix where it is arising. So, first part is none other than So, first part is none other than conical variety. You can see the cone shaped cecum here and it is 13 percentage seen in the common people and here you can see the iliocecal valve. Then comes the second part. So, 
So this type is called as intermediate portion. So this type is called as intermediate type of cecum and it is most commonly seen in 9 percentage of normal individuals and here you can see both the right right cecal pouch and the left cecal pouch and this depression gives arising to the appendix. Then comes the third part of cecum. So this third part of cecum is called as ampullary type and it is commonly and this is the most common type of cecum seen in 78 percentage of individual and here we can see the right cecal pouch more prominently than the left and appendix getting shifted in this aspect. So this is how like here the appendix had not traveled so it became conical type and here it is present between the depression of both the cecal pouch so it became intermediate type and finally here comes the complete movement of appendix towards the medial aspect of the wall leading to the most common type of appendix that is ampullary type and this is one of the most important MCQ question. So now let us discuss regarding the blood supply of cecum. So there is always tinea coli present over here which is arising from the longitudinal muscle fold and the blood supply. The arterial supply is mainly through the iliocolic branches. Iliocolic artery. From iliocolic artery, we will be getting the cecal branches, which supplies the arterial blood. And then next comes the venous blood supply. So here the venous drainage is through superior mesenteric vein. And here this iliocolic artery is none other than the branch of superior mesenteric artery. So let me repeat this again. Blood supply is through the cecal branch which is arising from the ileo iliocolic artery and this iliocolic artery is the branch of superior mesenteric artery and here the venous drainage is mainly through the superior mesenteric vein. Okay. Then regarding the nerve supply. So if we are talking regarding the nerve supply, let's talk regarding the sympathetic stimulation first. It is from T11 to L1 and parasympathetic stimulation it is through Vegas. So in case of cecum we are going to uh, know regarding one of the most special structure of cecum that is none other than iliocecal valve. So here comes the appendix and here comes the iliocecal junction and here we are having the iliocecal valve. So before explaining regarding the iliocecal valve let me explain you with another example. Let me draw one human lip. Even if it is not looking like human lip, you have to accept it. <laughs> we have no other option. So here we can see that the upper lip is almost horizontal. And this lower lip is long and concave comparing to the upper one. So these two things are called as frenulum where, the bo where both of the lip gets fused and this line is formed. So this is how exactly our iliocecal valve also looks like. So that it will be easy for you to remember. That's why I had made this diagram. So... So here comes the upper lip which is very horizontal and lower lip which is very long and concave and here comes two frenulum like this is the upper lip which is horizontal as I had mentioned in that image and the lower lip is long and concave comparing to the upper lip and these two are frenulum where the fusion of lip leading to this formation and so let us see how the control mechanism over this works. So here this lip is actively closed with the help of sympathetic nerve supply. Actively closed by sympathetic nervous system. And sometimes it is mechanically closed by mechanically closed by distension of cecum. So this is all about the first part of large intestine which is also called as Cecum with the most mysterious spelling. 
So now let's have some quick recap regarding cecum, which is having the most mysterious spelling as I had mentioned already. And this is the commencement of large intestine and it is mainly seen in the right iliac fossa and above the lateral half of the inguinal ligament. And in case of right iliac fossa, if we are having any appendicitis pain also, it will be referred to the umbilicus just because both belong to the same dermatomal origin. In the next video, we will be discussing regarding the appendix and uh, different types of it. And... Uh, and here comes the size of the cecum. Here the length is 6 cm and the breadth is 7.5 cm. Here breadth is more than length and similar type of specificity we can see in some other organs that is P3, pons, prostate and pituitary where breadth is more than the length and this is one of the important MCQ question. So now let's say regarding the embryological origin. So both the cecum and appendix are originated from the midgut as we had shown in the image. And from there, there is post arterial segment. From that post arterial segment, there arises our cecal bud. And this cecal bud have proximal part and distal part. The proximal part gets dilated to form the cecum and the distal part gets dilated to, sorry, narrowed to form the appendix. And different types of cecum is mainly because of the movement of appendix from the apex of cecum to the posterior aspect just because the cecum is getting widened. So in case of first type, it is none other than conical type which we can see there is some cone shaped and it is seen in 13 percentage of normal individual. Next type is intermediate type. You can see the right cecal pouch and the left cecal pouch and in the center there is depression which is giving arising to the giving arise to the appendix and next comes the last type that is ampullary type which is the most common variety and it is 78 percentage and here this right cecal pouch becomes more prominent than the left cecal pouch and this appendix moves from here embryologically to the posterior posterior medial aspect of the cecum. So now let's start regarding the blood supply. Blood supply is mainly through cecal branches arising from the iliocolic artery and iliocolic artery is a branch of superior mesenteric artery and here the venous drainage is mainly through the superior mesenteric vein and here comes the sympathetic and parasympathetic system. Sympathetic it will be arising from T11 and L1 and parasympathetic it will arise from vagus. So there is one special structure related to cecum that is the iliocecal valve. So before knowing about the iliocecal valve, as we had, as I had told that we are going to see one of the commonest thing which we know already, that is human lip. Uh, lip. The human lip is horizontal in the upper aspect and uh, lower lip is long and concave and there comes the frenulum. In the exact way, we can see the iliocecal valve here and this iliocecal valve is actively closed with the help of sympathetic nervous system and mechani mechanically closed with the head, closed just because of the distension of the cecum. And thank you so much. We will continue next video with appendix.